Oh, beloved, I greet you in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Today is Saturday, preaching time at Stratford Westfield. But I'm speaking to you on the topic, you know me already. We're talking about speaking the truth from Stratford. And my concentration today is on the Christian youth. The Christian youth today. The question is, why do so many young people, even born in Christian home, take into Sunday school? Went through Sunday school, the youth system went to camp meetings, and by the time they get to uni or finish university, they sit at home, they don't go to church again, they have backslided. Why? What causes that? That simply means those young people who stop going to church, sit at home and they begin to pick problem with the church pastors the church where they they attend or all those things they don't know they are left from right if you are a christian youth over there and you know that i've been a youth teacher i've been a sunday school teacher i know what i'm talking to you about you know i know what i'm talking about because the problem surfaces right when you were in sunday school then you take it to youth ministry and then you fall out do you know what the scripture says some I think Psalm number 10, it says the wicked, the wicked in their hearts will never seek for God. You see that Proverbs 10 or Psalm number 10, I will find it out for you. It said the wicked will never seek for God. The things of God are not in their hearts. It's not in their thoughts. The word of God said, seek the Lord while he might be found. Seek, knock, search, you will find. You think by just going through the Sunday school and go through the youth ministry, that will make you find God? No. You seek for God. How do you do it? You should have a time, personally, your personal time. When you have a devotional time, you have your Bible, you have your notebook, get other books that will help you to understand the Bible better, like Bible Concordance and others. You, nowadays you have the bible audio so you can even listen to the bible do you know how many times i have gone through the bible i can't even count i've listened to the bible over and over and over again sometimes a particular book of the bible i will listen to it for months one book of the bible to understand when you come to the gospel have you sat down to look at even what jesus taught what is what did jesus teach in the gospels how much effort have you put in for finding god yourself none and you as then you begin to pick problem with the church the church is not a problem shiloh was corrupt when samuel was born over there but in the same corrupt place god spoke to him and he knew God better from the same place. You have no excuse. Your problem, the problem of the youth today is you have no time for God. Look at how much time you spend on your phone, on social media. Do you give the Bible the same attention? Check yourself. The things of God are not in your heart. When you were little, your parents took you to church because you have no option. But when you re read the things, you begin to rebel. Spirit of rebellion started from inside of you. And today, you are not in the house of God. The wicked, the wicked in their heart will never search for God. They will never seek for God. God is not in their plans. Is God in your plans? How can you begin from a Christian home? How can you begin from the church and get out of the church and begin to point forth at the church? Do you know God personally? I don't think so. No youth, no youth, no child of God, no Christian child will grow through the church and leave the church for any reason if you know God. Many of you, there are many of you who have stopped going to church even though you went through the Sunday school. You went through the pilgrimage. You went through the rituals. Listen, King David said, he used to do the same thing, but at a point he stopped. We don't know at what point he stopped. But by the time Goliath showed at, in his things, he discovered God. You could have discovered God. 
some of you even went to the extent of speaking in tongues i don't know whether you received the holy spirit baptism properly or you just want to show up that you have also received something if you have had all this experience how come you are not in the house of god today how come you say you are backslided backslided for what how can you have experience with god and backslide no so if you are a christian youth today and you started from sunday school youth ministry and you are no longer in the church check your heart what are you doing where you are where are you sitting is it better than the house of god have you read psalm 84 david said a day in the house of god a day in the house of god is better than thousands spent somewhere a whole king david said i will be a doorkeeper i would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of god i would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of god than spend thousands of days and hours elsewhere do you know what you are missing you think you are not missing anything you very soon you'll become a parent what kind of children are you going to raise can you give birth to offspring righteous offspring many of you would like to have christian marriages somebody who knew god but you yourself do you know god are you a christian woman that somebody can also call christian wife are you a christian guy that somebody can call a christian husband you think by marrying in the church and going to church make you a christian or you think when you construct your church in your marriage in a church it makes it a christian marriage no lie you are lying you seek for god like you seek for gold you said it didn't you you went to uni even if you didn't go to uni you probably went to college you study look at the time the volume of hours you give to study don't you think if you give god the scriptures quality time you'll get to know god better you are a scientist maybe you are a pharmacist you are a medical doctor you are an accountant you are name them you are that because you gave it attention and time and delight and like you took interest but when it comes to the things of god you don't and you are walking there you have walked through the church hoping hoping that one day when you die you will go to heaven you think heaven is cheap what did jesus say jesus said the way that leads to destruction is broad the way that leads to eternal life is narrow but strive strive do you know what he's striving make every effort go and ask the greek the word they use over there for strive is agonios or agonizomia do everything listen you don't know how <laughs> difficult it is to enter into the kingdom of god jesus said if your eye if your eye will hinder you block it out if your feet chop it off it's not cheap to enter into the kingdom of god you are not putting in a shift you are not putting in effort and you are blaming the pastor or the ministry or the church no the problem is you the problem is you when was the last time you fidgeted through your bible look at how much time you spend on your mobile phone do you give the bible the same attention if the bible is the life of god is the mobile phone the life of god is the mobile phone the life of god even when it comes to food jesus said man shall not live by food alone by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god but look at you do you know what i tell my children the worst you could do put the bible on the dining table whilst you are eating flip the pages pick a page and begin to read just digest it with your food keep on doing it in the morning let's read before you go to bed let's read and do this for the rest of your life 
in your quiet time go to your bed go to your room pick the bible read it the last thing that you should read before you sleep is the word of god if you don't understand anything daddy is here come and ask me i will explain it to you and if i don't understand we will find ways and means to get a meaning tell me if you don't know god you follow your parents to church you went through fun sunday school eating crisps drinking the drinks singing the song they don't mean anything after all these you said i'm no longer in church no it wasn't in you from your childhood and you want to you still want to enter into the kingdom of god you better repent if you're a christian youth and you have backslided and you are blaming the church you should blame yourself you have no time for god yet you want god has time as long as you are alive there is hope for you but listen to what the psalmist said the wicked in their heart will not seek for god and if you are not seeking for god and you are backslided what would you describe yourself how would you describe yourself a wicked or a righteous one i don't know how you should describe yourself but one thing i know if you seek for god you will find him and i always tell you you can even know god more than your youth teachers or your sunday school teachers because some of them might be teaching you passionately but they themselves having have personal relationship do you know how much god want to reveal himself to you do you know how much god said come let's reason together listen when adam and eve sinned god was still pursuing after them god was still pursuing after them god was looking for them and they were the ones running you are running you know why you are running from the presence of god because there is sin over there most of the youth youth that backslide from the church they are living a sinful life there is sin 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 is hiding in their hearts and it makes them feel guilty you can't enjoy the world jesus said the word came to me it has nothing to be in me but you there's a well the worldliness is in you and you can approach the presence of god with worldliness inside of you check your heart the problem is not the church the problem is not your pastor you know where the problem is it lies deep here inside your heart repent i'm speaking the truth to you you know i always do you have always known uncle Ebe, isn't it i will speak the truth to you the only way out for you is be honest with yourself find a place in your room kneel down and ask god for forgiveness and ask god please lead me where i will discover you and i will mature in you and i will serve you with all my heart properly the lord bless you i am waiting you know where i live i live in barking we meet in the barking methodist church by the asda from one o'clock to three thirty if you have any problem pop in over there i won't drive you away i will help you discover god the lord bless you all speaking the truth to you from stratford don't sit at home backsliding christian come alive